But wait, I just gotta find some matches. Yes, why don't you go look for them? <laughs> How stupid. I have some matches right here in my underwear. <laughs> I oh, always keep them. <laughs> You must be devastating in a bathing suit. 
And that works. Well, it works for her. Unbelievable. <laughs> What's your number? Come on. But that's irrelevant. No, what you say is that you adore her and that you love her. Don't touch me. Oh. Huh. But remember, this must be in a complete propriety, complete honor. Ah. Uh, what ah? Uh, uh, fair. Uh, awfully fair. Uh, this is one rascal of a plan you have here. Thank you, Alright. Don't worry. This is my affair. I'm going to go to my room. Goodbye. Anyway, I got the rest. Up there. What's going Well, he's gone. What's this all about? He wants me to make love to his wife? Him, the husband? It's lunacy. <laughs> Only he said in complete propriety and complete honor. What's he mean in complete propriety and complete honor? Well, I guess I just have to see how far propriety takes me. Sosthene, it's awfully sporting of you to make me this offer. I never would have thought of it myself. It would have seemed indiscreet. Hot damn! Ooh, 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 me make up the rods, I can't wait. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, then there's no other way. Monsieur Coquerel, you're the one who declared war. <clears throat> Cousin. Ah, uh, Catul, I recognized your footsteps, so I came. She wants me to. <laughs> well, it's just a whim. Um, uh, Laurence, I have something to discuss with you. Really? Will he do it of his own accord? All the better. I never dare. Well then. Well then. Oh, God, her eyes. Well, uh, it's difficult for me to put into words. Well, speak to me. Woo! <laughs> Are you afraid? No. <laughs> I just wanted to tell you that I'm very, very happy. Really? Yes, very happy to see you, to stay here, to be near to you. So you don't find it tiresome here? No, not at all. I love you more than my school teachers. Your what? Her brows knit. Perhaps I've been a bit reserved. Oh, you know, but that doesn't prove anything, cousin, because my school teachers were so disagreeable, so unpleasant that you would love anyone better than them. So. This is a strange way to woo me. To woo you? Oh, God. I believed. I thought. Uh, Oh, but let's pretend I've said nothing. Ah, but yes, cousin, but yes, you're right. But I'm so shy, I find you so attractive, that I lose my head when I see you. I've always intended to tell you how beautiful you are, but I never dared. Well, then. That doesn't bother you at all? Oh, it's just that I don't know if I ought... Oh, it bothers you. I can tell. I was wrong to speak. I'll say no more. Oh, but yes, more! Here's my revenge. What? Oh, you'll let me? Oh, how good you are, cousin. Oh. So you don't reject me? You wish me to say that I love you? Well, this is going well. Oh, if I had only known, I would, I would have told you a long time ago what I didn't dare say to you. Me? Oh, never mind. Now that I know better, I am happy. I know that I'm not wholly disregarded. That I may have hope. Hope? Oh, be quiet, Catul. If my husband heard you. Oh, it's all the same to him. We have an understanding. Oh, you're wrong. how we're going to love now. We'll see each other often. Wait! Would you like to go to the Palais Royale with me tomorrow? Oh, you're mad. Oh, don't refuse. It is I who offers. But won't my school chums just envy my luck? <sighs> Deviant! What are you saying? Uh, well, you know I'm going to have to tell them everything. This will just crush Badenjard. Oh, cousin, I love you. Oh. I love you. Leave your hand in mine. Let me press it to my heart. Katul, be quiet. Be quiet. Do you hear me? I forbid you. No, no, I'll never be quiet. I love you. Oh, how important I've been. I want to get drunk on your eyes, your smiles, and your voice enchants me. Every part of you charms and allures me. You're so beautiful. What is this? Are you declaring yourself to me? Is this a proposition? That's how it looks. What you dare? I won't stand this moment longer. Be quiet or I shall scream. You wouldn't. You'll see soon enough. I dare you to. Oh, you dare me, do you? Come now, no more jokes. <laughs> I've been too reserved. Ah! Uh -huh. Oh, don't worry, it's only your husband. Oh, oh Sosthene, please, I beg you, please, I forgive you. This does not look like Tell it to the Marines, madame. What's uh, Sosthene? Be quiet, it's a ploy. Oh, you see, I'll tell you everything. Do you hear me? Do you see? So, so. Oh, let go of me. Don't call me that. All I'm saying in defense is that you see, so, so. What's he talking about? No, the ordinance, I could have this case for closed. I could even have you both killed. The ordinance gives me that right. Yes, madame, your case is for closed. Yes, monsieur. Monsieur, yes, yes. Read penal, penal article 330 something. I can't remember where, but my wife can 
tell you. Because her mother taught it to her. Oh, for God's sake, what's oh. the name? Let's not be ridiculous oh. about this. I could do all of this and more, but it would cause a scandal. No! I am afraid there is only one honorable course of action. What's oh. the name of the joke? Yes, tomorrow at dawn, in the wood of the sun. I sure hope you're satisfied. Oh, me? I'm entirely satisfied. Only you'll tell me everything, all right? All the same. Oh. What? No more racket? Everyone's made up? The time is right. I'll cry. Oh. What <laughs> is it? Oh, I have to leave Madame Avicii. You've been so good to me. Oh, so. Oh, I am heartbroken. <laughs> What should I do? Well, now that you're here, I would like an explanation. I would like wow. to know how and why you had me do that farce in the dark. Why did you pretend to be Madame when you know very well that you're not? Well, Monsieur said, it's you, isn't it? And since it was me, I couldn't have said that it wasn't me. And I'm too truthful to deny that it wasn't me when it truly was. What a talker. Well, let's forget about it. Only, Sosene, you really thought it was me? Well, it was dark. That's reassuring. Oh. Then you're convinced? Yes, I believe you. And to prove it, Adelaide, I'll keep you. Oh, oh, madame, oh, you have been so gracious to me. Oh. <laughs> and may the good Lord be as kind to all of you. 